Hello everyone, it's Ro here, um, or Shadow Vixen Uchiha. Uh, the reason I am wearing a blue wig is because my hair looks like shit and my parents are in bed and the only pair of straighteners I have in this house now, thanks to my dog, is in my mum's room. So um, I can't exactly go and get them. So that is why I decided to be fake and just have a wig on my head. So yeah, that's what that's all. Um, I'm doing another video because I was tagged in one by my girlfriend who got requested to do a video about dreams and fears and I gave this a lot of thought and I'm not usually someone who likes to um, talk about stuff in great detail, deep stuff anyway um, but I, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go um, <clears throat> in front of my lovely Christmas tree as you can see basically yes, uh, what should I start off with? Fears. I'll start off with fears. Um, one of my main fears is, well, one of my main sort of silly fears is wasps. Um, generally because they can hurt you and um, they're just disgusting and they don't really serve a purpose, I suppose. Uh, but when I was younger, um, I was staying at my auntie's house and um, I could hear this kind of like moving sound in the, like, you know, the corner thing of your room. Um, I could hear that and um, one day I stood up on the bed to look in and there was a little hole and you could just see these little things walking past and I was just like okay what's that, just ignored it. The next day I woke up in a room full of wasps and it was like oh my god what the fuck, it was just really horrible and I was only really young at the time, I think I was about um, seven, eight maybe and the dog was in there and the dog was going mental so I just ran out and ever since then I've been petrified of wasps, if one comes near me I will freak out seriously like don't want to be around me when there's a wasp. Maybe. Um, another just lame little fear is spiders, um, just because my mum's scared of them. I, I don't mind them outside, but when they're in my house I just freak out and act like a total girl. Um, another main, uh, I'd call it more of a phobia, is uh, needles, you know, syringes. Um, that's quite a common one, obviously. I don't really have a rationalisation for it, I've always hated having them. You literally have to strap me down. You can even ask my girlfriend. I'm the nastiest bitch when I'm having a needle. I'm just, I just hate them. I can't, I can't even look at a picture of a syringe, even if it's a cartoon picture of a syringe, like in biology or whatever in school. I can never look at them. It just used to freak me the fuck out. So yeah. Um. But my main fear, like, in life in general, is um. <laughs> it's probably rejection. Um. Rejection from jobs. Rejection from my parents, rejection from friends. I, I don't like people. Um, I've never been able to function with people. If you meet me, I'm not this socialite person who can click and gel with people. I'm likeable, but I, I don't know if I'm likeable, but I think I have a good sense of humour and I come across as quite a confident person, sometimes a little aggressive, but that's usually a barrier I put up. Um, I've always had a very big fear of rejection, I never liked making friends, I never liked, I don't think I've ever asked anyone out, I've asked, it's usually someone asking me out, I never, I don't really make the first move because I'm so scared of being let down, I don't even know whether I have any rationalisation for it but I don't like putting myself out there to get let down because I just have a major fear of rejection, people rejecting who I am, people rejecting how I look, how I feel, my sexuality was a big problem for me, when I was younger it's not anymore, but it took me a long time to admit to myself that I had an attraction with girls, um, it took even longer to admit to other people that I had an attraction to girls and I don't feel like I was accepted by my family and friends for a long time. Um, until I got proper serious because it's something that people just push under the carpet. So for someone who has a fear of rejection to come out of the closet, as they, you know, as you'd call it, it's quite a big deal. Um, I just don't like, I don't really care what people think, which doesn't really make sense, but I, I don't like the fact people judge me. I get very paranoid and insecure when I think people are judging me, like when it comes to job interviews. When, if I don't get a job, I, I tr think of these reasons and I really bring myself down and um, try and rationalise in my head why I don't think I was accepted or whatever. 
Um, I don't know, I think that's a lot a thing a lot of people don't know about me is yeah, I have a massive fear of rejection. Um my whole life. Because I got bullied a lot when I was younger, because I'm a bit of a freak, as you can see. You know, I didn't really have much going for me. I was a freak who was obsessed with like Pokemon and anime. I used to like playing animal games and run, running around as an animal when I was a kid, which I guess is the whole cosplay sort of imaginative thing. Um, I've always kind of been a bit weird with girls. When you played Kiss Chase in the playground, I wouldn't be chasing the boys, I'd be chasing the girls. So yeah, it was a bit frowned upon. Um, I've just been a bit of a misfit, to be honest. I never liked pretty dresses, I never had any neat pretty hair, I never spoke and acted how other girls did. I've just never really fit in with girls or boys, I've just been kind of in the middle. So, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a reject, but I think I'm finding myself now and I'm coming to terms with my fear of rejection and getting past those hurdles. Oh, and I'm watching the time on my camera and panicking. Um, okay, moving on to dreams now, less depressing stuff, well, quite enough depressing stuff. Everyone has dreams when they're little and, um, my first ever dream was probably, um, by this I mean dreams for the future. Um, my first dream was to be a Power Ranger. I wanted to be the Red Power Ranger because I was obsessed with it and I used to think it was the coolest job in the whole world. Whoever got to be the Red Ranger was just like awesome. But of course that didn't come to fruition. Um, but my main life ambition was always from the age of about 5 to 16 was to be a vet. And I never let go of that dream and I had people telling me my whole life, you're, you're not going to do it, it's hard, you've got to put so much work in it, it's so hard to get into the universities. But I really tried from doing my SATs, like in year 6 even, all the way up through high school, I always put 100% effort in. And my GCSEs began to slip a little but I got amazing GCSE results and, um, well in my opinion because I tried really hard and I thought to myself, okay, if I get an A in my GCSE maths, I'll take it for A-level, so I did. I took A-level biology, A-level chemistry, A-level maths and photography, because that just to shut my dad up. And um, around this time, I was very self-confident because I had just broken out of a infatuation with someone and... Um, yeah, I'd got good GCSE results, I had a job, everything was going great for me, so I was up there and I had my dreams in sight and I've always been very, you know, one of these people that says, I'm going to university, I'm going to get the best A-levels, I'm going to go travelling for a year and then I'm going to go to uni, do my degree and be a vet, I'm going to be earning, I'm going to be minted. And then a certain Steph came along and um, I still kind of had that dream in my mind. And then I kind of realised, hang on, what am I doing? I, if I go to university, I'm going to be there for seven years, and I realised I'm not actually as intelligent as I think I am. I was doing these AS levels, and they were hard and demanding, and I just couldn't be bothered with it. Um, so over the years since then, my dreams have kind of gone downhill a bit, and now my dream is... My dream is Steph, to be honest, because... Being with someone for a long time and seeing the bad things and the good things makes you realise what you want from your life and if my dream was still to be a vet I wouldn't be with Steph because I would I would want to dedicate myself 100% to being a vet and I don't think relationships should cross over with that. But the reason I left Cardiff and I moved there to go to college to do animal care which could never have led me to be a vet, I would have had to do animal nursing or something, uh, vet nursing rather. Um, was obviously because of Steph and I don't know she's become more important to me than any dream that I've ever had and I, that that to be honest it scares the hell out of me because this dream has been a security in my whole life and things change as you get older and I need to accept it my parents need to accept it people need to accept that little kids dreams like being a vet or whatever like me they don't often happen and when someone amazing like my girlfriend comes along you really have to hold on to it and you can't give it up because dreams come and go, but you're only going to meet that one person in your life that means so much to you and that you're willing to try, kind of spend your life with. That's, that's usually only going to happen once. So I think to throw that away for a dream to go to university would be really stupid. So yeah, 
right now my dream is to, I want to be in the police, I want to be a dog trainer in the future. But mainly I just want a family, I want to marry my girlfriend. Um, I want to be well off but not rich. I want to be comfortable. Um, I want to give my kids everything because I want to have kids. Um, and yeah, that's definitely all my dream. So yeah, my dream is you and my fear is being rejected by you and losing you. So that's about it really and I feel like a fag. So um, <laughs> bye.